Although this foraging exercise and training session with Vashti was filmed on December 21st, 2020, this is being released for Training Tuesday on Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. In keeping with the least intrusive, most effective principle, I'm asking Vashti to shift out of her habitat so that I can clean it and do maintenance by targeting her and having her voluntarily exit her enclosure and go into a bin where I've set up a foraging exercise for her. She actually was very cooperative in doing this behavior and I was really proud of her. And then the melee of the foraging exercise soon ensues. To provide possible explanations for some of the behavior that you're seeing from Vashti, I'm going to share some information with you that was given to me by Dr. Zach Lofman, a PhD professor at West Liberty University, who is one of the leading authorities on false water cobras, Hydrodynastes gigas. They seem to hunt using sight and react to movement. Once they make visual contact with potential prey items, they begin tongue flicking and then they seem to use chemoreception. They appear to hold prey items in their esophagus at first, not swallowing it until sometime later. They regurgitate the prey items quite easily when they become excited, overstimulated, or they eat something too large. Since these haven't yet reached the stomach, they're just pushed out of the mouth from the esophagus with seemingly no ill effects and they may be consumed again later. The intermittent hooding behavior during this exercise is likely a result of excitement. When Vashti catches scent of the prey or she sees what she thinks is prey. Slight hooding behavior may occur when the Hydrodynastes gigas are uneasy or suspicious about something. Hooding while moving away can be avoidance behavior and full hooding accompanied by body flattening can indicate fear or defensive behavior. 
The following is directly from a journal article by Patrick Viana and Anderson Roca on Hydrodynastes gigas, the false water cobra feeding behavior, which was published in the Herpetological Review in June of 2019. Hydrodynastes gigas is a large diurnal semi-aquatic colubrid found in South America, east of the Andes, from the Guiana Shield to northern Argentina. These snakes exhibit a generalist diet feeding on fish, eggs, amphibians, invertebrates, mammals, birds, lizards, and even other snakes. Little is known about their feeding or foraging behavior. The authors report that on November 5, 2017, they were called to rescue an adult female false water cobra near factories in Manaus, Amazonas, Brazil. The snake was captured and kept in a plastic box for transportation and later released in a different area. While inside the box, the snake regurgitated two adult Rhinella marina. A large amount of parotoid gland secretion from the Rhinella marina was present, which in addition to capture stress, could have been one of the reasons for regurgitation. One of the Rhinella marina was still fully alive and active, while the other was partially digested, indicating that this snake swallows some of their prey alive, despite having enlarged rear maxillary teeth as well as venom. After a few moments, the Hydrogenastes gigas re-swallowed the two Rhinella marina, first the partially digested one and then the other still alive and active. The whole process took only a few minutes, with no significant time differences between the partially digested frog and the one which was still alive. Observations of prey subjugation behavior by false water cobras in the wild are few. Weiler and Eraldi published in Reportes Scientificos in 2010 the constriction of a large eel. An Astort reported in 1984 that rodents consumed in captivity were constricted and drowned in water.